perfect stitches right along the edge of that fabric. Hi, my name is Delilah. Welcome to my sewing room. Today I'm going to show you my five favorite sewing machine feet and how I use them. So basically a sewing machine presser foot tutorial. And these right here are the presser feet and I'm going to show you how to use them. We're going to start with the walking foot first and then I'll show you my one fourth presser foot. This is called an edger. This is my rolled hem. And then of course this one is just my all purpose foot. So the first one that I am going to demonstrate is this walking foot. So I used to think that a walking foot was just for quilting, but it's actually, I, I actually find it really helpful when I'm hemming jeans. I actually do hem jeans a lot for my little one and my oldest one because they're both shorter and so I'm always hemming jeans for them and I always use my walking foot. Another use for this walking foot is when you're hemming knits that you know I use my serger but I don't have a cover stitch so a lot of times you know I'll serge the end and then I'll use this for like double brush polys or rib knits. I'll show you that example right here. So it does take a few seconds to put the walking foot on, but it's worth it because it feeds the fabric through very evenly. So I'll show you right here. And then it just provides, let me turn this around so you can see the back side. So it makes for a really pretty finish. So the walking foot actually have teeth right here that come down on the fabric and make sure that the fabric just rolls through the presser foot very evenly. You'll also want to use it when you're sewing sweater knits. So this time of year, you know, a lot of us are doing rib knits and sweater knits, and so it's very helpful to make sure that you got an even flow when you're sewing it together. This next one that I'm going to show you is this one fourth foot. So it is like a quilter's foot, but you want to always make sure that after you, if you're going to use it for quilting, make sure that you measure it to make sure it is a true one fourth. Because sometimes it's, it's because if you switch over to a regular sewing machine foot, you know, the measurements might be off. So if you quilt with this, make sure you do all of your quilting squares with this. But for me, I'm not using this for quilting. I'm gonna use this one to um, finish my car seat covers. So I think one of the reasons why I love changing my feet is because I do a lot of bulk sewing. And so I've got my car seat covers right here and I'm gonna show you how fast I can go through and finish a lot of the steps. One thing that I want to mention when you're changing your sewing feet, make sure that your knit needle is positioned in the middle. Uh, there have been times when I have broken my needle because it has come down on the sewing machine foot and it didn't land in this little hole right here. Because it's got just one little hole for your needle to go down into. So what appeals to me so much on this sewing foot is how fast I can sew. So I'm just gonna work on a few of these really quick. So it makes chain sewing a breeze. I also make surgical hats. So whenever I'm sewing on a curve, I find this foot extremely helpful. So don't forget to use this when you're sewing something round. So now I'm just going to use my regular all-purpose sewing foot to sew on some Velcro to my straps. So I guess this sewing foot doesn't really need a demonstration, but it is one that I use a lot, and so I just figured I would 
put it in here so you can see um, other ways that I use my sewing feet. And right here, I'm just doing a little bit of some top stitching so we can go on and we can move on to the next sewing foot. So this next one I'm going to show you is this edge foot. And I first, I wanna show you, I don't think I use it how it's intended, but, um, so it might be illegal, but, <laughs> but let me show you. So I looked up some videos and it's actually supposed to be used, I guess, to join two fabrics together. But uh, this is an alternative to the rolled hem foot. If you don't understand, if you just can't get the rolled hem foot, I love this is a great alternative. Um, also, if you are finding this tutorial helpful or interesting, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it just really helps out my channel and it's just a fast way to give me some feedback. Now the first example that I'm going to show you with this edger foot is how to make bias tape. Okay, we have our bias tape ready. We are turning our needle this way so it goes right into the hole. And there you have it, perfect stitches right along the edge of that fabric. Like I can't even think of anything else that comes out this perfect. I just love this. So here is some more edge foot footage just for fun. And now you have a beautiful, perfect hem. One thing that is incredibly useful when using your edger foot is having some leader fabric to start with. And then we're going to put this through here. And if you're starting at an edge, make sure that you uh, backspace. I also make surgical hats, so I use this foot when I make those because, you know, when you're selling things, you know, which I do on Etsy, you want to make sure that you get like the best professional finish. And I think this foot achieves that for sure. So my favorite foot of all is this rolled hem foot. And you guys, I'm putting a link in the descriptions tab below so that you can purchase these feet. All I did was iron just the very beginning of it. And so I can put it in here and put my needle down. And then I go ahead and work this into that flap. See, and then I got it right in there. And now I'm ready to go. If you feel like you're starting to lose it, just go like this and you're gonna guide it again. But as long as you just keep practicing, you will definitely get better at it. Okay, so I'm sorry the camera shut off on that last one so you couldn't see the finished ham, but I'll for sure show it to you on this one. So all I did was take a couple of stitches and then I pull it through that tiny little flap and then it just takes off after that. So if you have a lot of stuff that you need to sew and a lot of things that you need to hem, I definitely recommend mastering this rolled hem foot tutorial. It just gives such a nice finish. And look at all of these covers that I was able to do. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my five favorite presser feet. So.
eat. So if you found this video helpful, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Also, you can check out my more detailed, narrow, like rolled hem foot tutorial right there. And so I do hope to see you in my next video. And until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys.